Hi, today I want to talk to you about a tool for managing your work in Google Classroom that I think is pretty cool. It's called Studio. Um, and it's, I guess the company is called Studio and the tool is actually called Today. But this is what it looks like. Um, if you want to use it, you'll need to go to the G Suite Marketplace and install it. And I'll link you to its page in the G Suite Marketplace in the description. And when you install it, you'll need to give it permission to access the data on your Google Classroom because that's how it works. And basically, when you first log in, this is what you see. So I have all this stuff in my inbox. This is all the work that Cowboy has been assigned so far this year. Um, if I scroll up, you see he has a lot of stuff that's late that he never turned in. But I've just kind of scrolled down to the things that are current. Right now, his plan for today um, is blank. You see he did have a calendar event today that shows up here, but it's in the past now, so it's crossed through. And then scrolling down, you can see assignments that Cowboy has completed and the grade he got on them. And you see some upcoming events from his calendar that are happening later, not today. So when you first log in, you kind of want to focus on whatever is in your inbox, work that has been assigned that you have not yet planned for. So you take your work that's been assigned and you click on an assignment and it's going to tell you when it's due. This one is due in two days. Um, and I'm going to say, okay, I think this assignment is going to take me half an hour. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it today, but notice I could also plan it for tomorrow. But if I try to say I'm planning it for the 11th, um, it's going to give me a caution because that is when it's due. So I'm going to say today because I want to show you how it looks on my plan. And then I also have to pick a time. I'll say I'm going to do this at 4 o'clock and press save. Good. Well, my save took a minute to take effect. But now that I have, you see this assignment has moved into my plan for today. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to take um, this next assignment from French class and I'm going to say, I think this one will take me um, 30 minutes and I'm going to do it tomorrow at 10 a.m. and press save. Notice too that when there's a material attached in Google um, Classroom, I can link directly to it. Notice that since I planned that for tomorrow, it's not showing up in my plan for today. It's showing up down here in my upcoming assignments. So tomorrow when I would log into this app, that assignment would show up under my plan for today. Um, let me pick another one here and schedule it for today. Let me say this. I think this is going to take me an hour and I'm going to do it today at 6 p.m. and press save. All right, so now you can see I have both of these things in here and they are going to show up in chronological order. And anything I have on my um, personal calendar, not my class calendars, but my personal cowboy calendar would also show up in here, um, kind of interspersed with my um, assignment. So it would help me remember like to go to my classes or whatever. Um, this is just a way to manage your work as it comes at you in Google Classroom. It's built in that you're planning for when you're going to do things and you're going to um, have a set time. I call this making an appointment with yourself and it's a really important strategy. Um, if you or your student are struggling to get their work done for them to assign it a specific day and time that they're going to complete it instead of just saying they're going to complete it later because we all have experienced how often later can turn into late. So this is a tool, you can access it through G Suite Marketplace. Um, I'm sure there are some paid features of it, but what I just showed you today was the free tier. I didn't pay anything for it. Um, and I will also link you in the description to their um, company website and some tutorial videos that they have for how to use this tool.